Okay, Monday evening forecast update. It's a very complicated forecast and one that has changed uh, greatly since my last forecast video, which was on Sunday. So let's get right into it. First of all, we did have low pressure on Sunday that was over um, the plains. It has uh, moved, uh, it's retrograded, I should say, south and east. It is now over the Ohio River Valley. We, and we had uh, a stationary front on Sunday that was positioned over Tennessee that has now moved north and it's uh, also into the Ohio River Valley through North Carolina and Virginia. And we also have a low pressure system in Tennessee yesterday, which is Sunday. It has now moved into North Carolina and it's going to develop big time. It's going to bomb offshore this evening and will be creating some very heavy rain, a big problem for New England by the time we get to Tuesday, uh, Tuesday night into Wednesday. We're going to get to that in a second, but first let's talk about what's going on, what's going on if you're watching this on Monday. And for Monday, look, we do have a lot of rain. I showed you the, I showed the I accidentally showed you this in the beginning. We do have a lot of rain north and east of these two low pressure centers. We actually identify where the low pressure centers are. One batch of rain right off Delmarva. That's where the first one is. Then it kind of gets spotty through Pennsylvania. Then, of course, you see a new low pressure center picks back picks the rain back up in the Ohio Valley. So it's kind of cool where you can spot these low pressure centers. Now, let's take a look at the future cast here for you, which actually is uh, the NAM model in this case. I'll take you out to Tuesday morning. Clouds will be thickening across southern New England. Might be some sun early in central and northern New England, but it looks like a cloudy day all day Tuesday for a lot of southern New England. By the early evening and later afternoon hours of Tuesday, heavy rain will be intruding up the south coast of New England. Uh, it should start off as a few showers, but could quickly go over to some heavy rain, possibly some strong winds, but I'm not too worried about that. Mariners, it's a good idea that you don't go out, although I'm not expecting a huge threat for you guys. Look by, uh, I'm not even sure when this is. Let me, go sh let me just go check, uh, check. I'm sorry. This is, um, okay, so this is midnight or around midnight on um this is midnight tuesday wednesday however you like to say it and by then we do have a very heavy band of rain moving across the south coast of of uh, new england and the rain is all the way up to the mass new hampshire border look at this by early t by early wednesday morning really heavy rain just dominating then most of the day Wednesday looks like the low pressure center is going to be south and east of Nantucket and that could wrap some heavy bands of rain uh, from the west from the east towards the west as they wrap around the center of circulation perhaps hitting Cape Cod looks like a steadier rain in the areas that maybe don't get hit by some of the heavier bands then uh, it should be, I think the rain should be pretty much gone by the early evening hours or the later evening hours or the evening hours for a lot of southern New England. We're still going to be seeing bands of rain by midnight. We're still talking about bands of rain that are, that are wrapping up the main coast. So it should take a while for this to clear out. looks like all day Wednesday we're still going to be looking at a lot of the rain coming through, which is, again, a huge flip in the forecast since Sunday when we were looking at a beautiful day, when we were looking at the storm not affecting us, obviously very different now. What has remained the same? Two things. A very beautiful forecast uh, on Sunday that we were expecting for Thursday and Friday. That has not changed. Thursday, we should be easily into the 70s for m a lot of New England, not just southern New England, maybe even Canada. So we're all getting into it. So that's really just nice that southern New England doesn't steal the warmth this time. But it looks like on Friday that southern New England will steal the warmth. Maybe some spots in Connecticut hitting 80 or 85. Looks like northern New England will be cooler. You know it's all part of the ever-rotating cycle of weather. And I will keep you updated on every rotation. See you guys later. It's Nick for the New England Weather Life. .com. All right, everybody, thanks for checking out our forecast video. We really appreciate it. Please share it with your friends if you enjoyed it, and I'm sure, you, uh, well, I hope you did because it's all about public awareness. Anyway, uh, we do have a little bit of announcement. I'm working on a brand-new video introduction. Our current ones are, you know, the ones with the lightning image and the hurricane, but now we're changing that, uh, you know, the satellite image of the hurricane. Now we're changing that, and we're not sure when the new intro will be done, but hopefully as soon as possible. All right, that's it for now. Peace out.